Hey, what is going on guys? So you have a Samsung Galaxy A80. I'm gonna show you how to screen mirror this wirelessly to any smart TV, basically any newer model smart TV that's like 2014 and above. It's very, very simple. So first thing you gotta do is you just gotta make sure that your Wi-Fi is on, okay? Now let me go ahead and go into my Wi-Fi here. And you don't have to be connected to a home net network. You just have to basically have this on because it's a Wi-Fi direct connection. It has nothing to do with your home Wi-Fi network. So Wi-Fi direct connection, uh, it's basically a mirror cast uh, connection. Okay, so it's a direct connection. The thing is, you should be on some kind of Wi-Fi network if you want to be able to connect to your TV and be able to um, browse the internet or play games that requires internet access or anything like that. Okay, anyways, I am connected to a um, my home Wi-Fi network here. Of course, your smart TV doesn't have to be connected to any internet as well. It's a smart, it's a uh, direct connection again. So the only thing you gotta do is just scroll down on your A80, scroll down again, and then what, what you wanna look for is smart view, which is right here. If you don't see smart view here, just go ahead and swipe to the left, swipe to the left and look around there, okay? Anyway, mine's on this uh, first page here. I'm gonna simply go ahead and tap on smart view right here. And there's my, it found it right away. Let me click on that. And the thing is, like, basically what happens, I, I've connected this, uh, I screen mirrored this uh, phone wirelessly to this uh, smart TV, but the first time you connect to first time you connect to it, you'll get a message on the top right-hand corner or down at the bottom, and it'll ask you, um, requesting, um, is it okay for you to connect the A80 to your smart TV? Then you basically have to grab your remote and press on OK. That's only the first time that you do it. Anyways, uh, you can see right here, we are actually mirrored wirelessly. You see no wires here, so you can browse the internet. Uh, you can play games. You can go on your Facebook. Uh, you can do Skype. This way it'll show actually on the big screen. We can show photos and videos. Uh, let me go ahead and let me just go to a browser here really fast. There's a browser here. Of course, we can go ahead and turn it into like landscape mode here, as you can see, and we can zoom in and out as well and i'll show you some photos and videos as well so we can go to let me go into the gallery here okay here it is right here i'll go into my photos gallery right there i'll tap on that and then i'll show you a photo and a video here let me show you a video first here so here's a video now the thing is when i play this video the audio is going to come out from the tv not the phone okay let me show you Testing, one, two, three. And I can increase and decrease the volume using my phone as well. Let me go ahead and increase it again. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> okay, so again, the audio is coming from the TV, not from my phone. And I'll show you a photo as well. So here's a photo right here. Let me turn it into a landscape mode here. And you can see what that looks like. Nice, crisp, and clear. And here's another photo. Here's a video here. Here's a uh, here's another photo here. And if you guys want to disconnect, you'll have this little uh, round icon. Pretty much anywhere you go in your screen, you can simply just tap on that, and then you can go down here. You can uh, you can change the aspect ratio too, right here, or you can go ahead and disconnect. You can also disconnect if you just swipe down. And we go back to where it used to say smart view because I'm connected. It now says my smart TV here, which is LG. If I just tap on that right there, and then on top right-hand side on my TV, it says uh, your device is disconnected, and that's how you disconnect. So pretty simple. Any questions, comment below. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one.